Hey guys, welcome to Messy Makeup. My name's Dakota, and in today's video, I'm going to be reviewing the Huda Beauty Resting Boss Face Waterproof Setting Spray. If you guys want to see this video, then just you guys know that I don't actually know the price of this at the moment. I actually received this courtesy of Influencer. It's an app where you can go in and review products and share your opinions about products, and it, that gives you a chance to be entered in what's called a box box. Now, a box box is where they send you a free item or items to review and to test out. Um, so basically, it's for testing purposes. They'll send you free products. You test it, let them know how it works. It's kind of, you know, works both ways. You're helping each other out. So I received the Huda Beauty Resting Boss Face through Influencer, and I thought I would go ahead and review it on this channel today. Um, so it says it's got extra hold and it's waterproof. I'm going to go ahead and read the directions here um, so we can apply it correctly. It says, directions. After applying makeup, hold 8 inches away and mist face 2-4 to four times in a circular motion. Keep eyes and mouth closed. Avoid applying directly on eyes and lips. Okay. And then it says, who does trick? Um, is to dampen a beauty sponge with the formula and press into the face to seal in makeup for the day. Right now, I'm going to be real honest, I don't have any beauty sponges. They are all being washed, so we're going to have to go with the first round of instructions today. Um, which is the circular motion two to four times, avoiding the eyes and the lips. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and open her up. She looks like this. It's a beautiful, like, aerosol can. It's kind of cute. It reminds me of hairspray. Um... I don't know. Let's let's review the packaging, shall we? It's very it's very light and it feels good. It feels like you could just stick this in your like travel bag, kinda like you do with like hairspray. So cute. Okay, anyway. Let's open her up. Um, it didn't say to shake it or anything, but I'm gonna go ahead and shake it because I just feel like that might make the product work better. And that's what I do with all my setting sprays. So I'm not trying to give this product like an advantage or anything. That's literally what I do with all my setting sprays is I always shake it before applying it. Let's go ahead and shake it up. Okay. And I feel like that's pretty good. Eight inches away. So about, about here. And I'm going to just go ahead and cover my eyes. Two to four times in a circular motion. So let's see. Like that? I don't know. <laughs> Um, it feels like it got everywhere but the eyes and the lips, so it should be good. This is what my makeup looks like now. Um, so I'm going to check back in throughout the day and do little, like, check-ins and let you guys know how this product is actually working, how my makeup looks later on throughout the day. And, yeah, so I hope you guys enjoyed this video so far. Let's keep going. Alright, guys, so it's been about two hours since I've applied my makeup, and I would say it's looking pretty fresh still. Um, I like the way it looks right now. Um, what do you guys think so far? Um, the only area that I see that has definitely worn down is the nose area right in here. I don't know if you guys can see that on camera, but I can definitely see it in the viewfinder. My um, nose wears down with any makeup product that I use. Um, I've tried various tips, various different uh, face primers to try to resolve that issue. It just doesn't work for me. So it's not necessarily the Huda Beauty setting spray doing that. I think it's literally my nose and my skin is just like a whole different like texture right here and it doesn't let makeup cling on to it. So if you guys have any suggestions on how to fix that problem, leave them in the comments down below and I'll see you guys in about two, three hours and we'll wrap up this video. See you in a little bit. All right guys, so this is my last check-in of the day with you guys. Um, so yeah, let's just go ahead and take a look. <clears throat> I feel like the setting spray kept everything on pretty well, actually, throughout the day. And I definitely would recommend this to anyone who wants their makeup to last all day. I'm thoroughly actually impressed with this product. Um, again, the only thing that really separated was my nose area right here. It does that a lot. No surprise there. But, um, yeah, that's where I'm at. Not too bad. Um, so yeah, my final thoughts on this product would be if you want something to hold your face 
all day, I would totally go with the Huda Beauty resting boss face waterproof setting spray. Um, you know, there are cheaper options. This reminds me a lot of, like, the L'Oreal Infallible setting spray. Um, in terms of, like, how my face is looking after using it, it reminds me of that. So there's cheaper alternatives to this product. But if you're wanting to support Huda Beauty and you're wanting a high-end product, I would totally go with it because it's, it is working. Um, so yeah, the only downfall this product has is the really, really strong smell. It's just really strong and if you're sensitive to that, which I'm usually not, but I kind of am right now at this moment because of how strong and potent the smell is, I would stray away from this and try other products because the scent is super strong on this product. I feel like if she had one with like less scent or fragrance free, that would be incredible and anybody could use it, but if you're sensitive to perfumes and that kind of thing, I would stray away from Huda Beauty setting spray and try something else. Um, so yeah, that's my review of the Huda Beauty setting spray. Hope you guys liked it. See you guys in the next one. Bye. Yeah.